Hello everybody and welcome to Chernivtsi, the beautiful city in Ukraine. We will start our journey from Chernivtsi University, which is UNESCO heritage and the place definitely worth visiting. I visited Chernivtsi last time in May, I guess, and now it's the end of October. It's actually 31st of October, beginning of November, and this the weather is fantastic. And I'm very happy that I can show you the university and the dendrological park with the beautiful autumn colors. Autumn in Ukraine can be really amazing with a variety of colors and warmness and the pleasure to have walks around the city. The university was constructed in the second half of 19th century and the construction was lasting for 18 years. And as you can read and maybe you already know that this university was a former residence of metropolitans here. There are two churches, one church and the second chapel on the territory of university which are acting and uh, where you can get married um, or baptize your children. Exploring the territory of the university will take you a couple of hours, but if you enjoy architecture and if you enjoy nature, you will not regret the experience. I didn't take an excursion, but there is such possibility at the university uh, and they will show you not only the outside uh, of the uh, premises itself, but also the territory of the university inside. Chernivtsi National University is one of the oldest universities in Ukraine. And on the territory of university you can find an amazing dendrological park with unique plants and trees and you can pleasantly enjoy the atmosphere of nature and architecture two in one. And I have to tell you that I had an amazing pleasant walk, enjoyed the clean air and fabulous atmosphere of the place. The building of the university was built during Austro-Hungary time by the order of the former emperor of Austro-Hungary, Franz Josef, who were supporting and who was very supportive of local cultures and local religion, because as you know, originally the premises of the university was the residence of the metropolitans. And in about 15 minutes walk from universities, you can get to the city center of Chernivtsi. On the way to the city center, you will be accompanied by old architecture, amazing parks and beautiful people. The main idea of my vlog was to show you Chernivtsi during autumn, because I was already filming Chernivtsi during uh, spring beginning of uh, uh, summer and you can find this video in the comments below I will give you the link there so that you can see the difference in the season traveling in Ukraine is best when the weather is good because you can enjoy the amazing atmosphere Within a short walk, we quickly approached the city center of Chernivtsi and just by walking a little bit in the yard, you can see the modern hostel for young people to stay. It's in the very center, just on the side of the 
road and looking up you can see another amazing infrastructural creature let's put it that way and now we are back to the main street of Chernivtsi, which according to the legend back in time was cleaned with soap and rose petals and uh, you could not walk the street in dirty shoes so there were checks to enter the area back in the past and again from the main street we are turning into a small yard out of curiosity to check how people live in the city center and you can see that this is the closed yard with the balcony as we call it the old houses and here is a kind of art object If you are curious like me, you will understand why it is so interesting to check uh, the things that you cannot see on the main streets. And coming back to main Kobolanska street. Speaking as of COVID restrictions in the city, um, as the city was in the red zone, so only tables outside were allowed and of course the takeaway was allowed and people with uh, vaccination was allowed as well. When you're in Chernivtsi, don't forget to enter one of the small yards on the side streets of the city and you will see a totally different atmosphere and uniqueness of the place and now we are on another square in Chernivtsi with the theater which has exact same copy in the city in German city of Fürth the history of the theater is interesting because um, it was ordered to a very famous architecture bureau back then, Fellner and Gamer, uh, in 1897 to build and to develop an architectural plan for the theater, as the city didn't have the theater. They developed the plan, but of course the city said that it was too expensive for them to implement it and demanded a discount. Fellner did not give the discount, so the project was frozen and Fellner meanwhile sold the project to the city of Fürth in Germany. And a few years later, the city of Chernivtsi found money to construct the uh, theater and uh, they constructed it but nobody knew that exact same copy is in Fürth. Another tradition which Chernivtsi is very famous for is that every day at noon at 12 o'clock sharp the trumpet player comes out to the balcony of the city hall and plays a very famous Ukrainian song which is called Marichka. Let's listen to it now. Don't miss this opportunity if you are visiting Chernivtsi, as it's a nice thing to see one of the city's attraction. And meanwhile, it is high time for us to have coffee and some lunch. Uh, I will leave you the GPS coordinates of the place below. I cannot say that I would highly recommend the place. Uh, my meal was um, kind of vegan it was i was not very impressed to be honest but my friends were happy they said that they they really liked the food
after lunch we proceeded exploring the city and as you've already understood going into small yards is the thing that I enjoy very much and discovering places like this <laughs> is kind of fun and at the same time a bit uh, shocking this could be turned into a really beautiful uh, place to place to be uh, but unfortunately it is what it is as it was end of October the although it looks warm but it was really cold and after another walk we found this beautiful place in the main street uh, which is called Vienna coffee again I will give you the coordinates uh, in the comments and um, we ordered some small meals and desserts the main uh, idea was to go there for the dessert but as we sat there for a very long time almost until sunset for for at least two hours we were there enjoying the atmosphere the pleasant service the pleasant company the pleasant interior we we ordered a lot of a lot of things the desserts were top and generally the food was very very good highly this place i can highly recommend The dessert portions in this place were really big so we had to share one portion into three and that was enough so you can imagine the sizes of the portions And after eating desserts, we left the place to our city. Thank you for watching my vlog. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you liked it. Comment and see you in my next video.